What's up my aimless peeps? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're gonna be working on something that if you guys didn't check the last vlog that I didn't get to finish. I bet you can guess it. One, two, three. Yep, you guys probably guessed it, but yeah, we did not get to finish that and I'm hoping I can get this inside the bike. Fingers crossed. But this time I have a little help. And we have this to try to get in the bike and then we have this. Hold on. And then, um, like I said last time, is high heat Loctite on these on the drain plug. And I'm hoping that will help us get that bolt out. But not only that, but we probably need something to help us do that. So we got that and we got this. So we're gonna use the heat gun to hopefully loosen up those threads. And then we're, we're gonna use a screw extractor. Shout out to my aimless peeps, my YouTube peeps for um, giving me that advice. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're hoping that once I'm done with these two, we're ready to get this inside the bike. That's our fingers crossed on that. All right, I showed you guys what we're gonna be working on. And um, stay tuned. Let's see how much luck we have on this time. I'm not gonna board you guys on what I need to remove. I'm sure you know already. We need to remove the lower fairing. That's better. I wanna stand, got the lower fairing off. Easy as butter. The video is gonna be a little messed up, but I'm trying to give you guys front row parking on me fucking this thing up. I use a 7 16 drill bit, and then I have the easy out ready. What I'm going to do first is I'm gonna drill in the center. I'm not sure exactly what size fastener it is, but I use one of the smaller ones. Start easy outing it, and then I'm gonna get a good lock in on that, and then I'm gonna heat it up, and I'm gonna see if it breaks off. So, we start here. Actually, that might gonna start smaller. I think we're done messing with this again. You can see the easy I broke off inside there. All right, guys, I showed you guys. I broke the freaking easy out on the. I broke the easy out inside the fastener. I was trying to get out. So now I'm kind of up in the air on what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it to the bike shop or what I'm going to do exactly. But yeah, um, if you have any ideas or any advice you can give me on that, just let me know and I'll um, take that into consideration before I start messing with it again. We didn't get that done. And I looked and it wasn't the, the boat wasn't drilled enough to where it would make it leak or nothing. I got it to operating temperatures and I went and rode for a little bit for probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And then everything's still fine. It's not leaking or nothing. So I need to get that bolt out and I might call the bike shop but this is something that I want to do, that I want to get done. I got a piece of Check out the squad. E4R. Oh, yeah. All right, what's going on guys? Uh, this is a new day and we're about to try a couple things real quick. I went to the bike shop and they said that I had to replace the lower radiator because the bolt stripped and it seized on. So I figured, well, if I gotta replace it, then why not at least try my weird way of trying to get it off? So we're gonna try that. But I do have a friend that has a um, an extra lower radiator that he had on his old 1199. He now has like a um, BV4R. So I'm gonna buy that from him. But I figured, why not try this? idea i had and see if it works so we're gonna try that is i got this uh aluminum foil or tape type stuff i make sure it's not touching the the radiator any and i have this thing that broke like a long time ago and i found this so i plan on epoxying this inside this strip bolt in here with this five minute epoxy i'm not sure if it's gonna work but it says, it says 34 psi strength dries clear blah 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 bonds to chrome fabric glass black metal blah blah blah, blah. so 
Here's the epoxy we're using. Here's this whole thing we broke off. Torx T3 that broke off. And I shaved the end off, like I just told you guys. Now, I'm about to mix it and then I'm about to apply it. Stab this thing on here, let it set for about four or five hours. And then we're gonna see if it even works. It might not, but we're gonna get a shot. Epoxy's too old. So the softener's good, the hardener's hard already. So we're about to run to the store, go grab some more epoxy, and then I'll let you guys know what I got. That thing, look at that Ferrari. go-kart on the street <laughs> that's something new I'm not sure what he's doing though check out my little configuration I did all the foil I made like a little cup thing and I got this thing on the bottom right here just in case the stuff dripped down and then I just dumped a lot inside there man I ended up using this Clear, maybe well. I doubt it's gonna work, but I just figure it's worth a try before I buy another radiator. Twenty-four hours later. All right, we're back. It's been twenty-four hours. Here's my little ghetto-looking thing. All right, like I said, it's been twenty-four hours. Let's see if this is even freaking holding up or what. Hell no, it's loose just in there, man. Let's see, a lot of tape. Sorry. Look at that. Did I see that shit? That was a fucking huge waste of time. Huge waste of time. Well, I thought that would work. Guess not. Well, that was a huge waste of time epoxied it on there for 24 hours i figured it wouldn't work but i figured eh, it's worth a shot because like i said i took it to the bike shop and the bike shop said they can't get it out i had to replace a lower radiator and then the easy out and the easy out broke and, I, and you guys saw that and then i just tried it again and tried to see if i can epoxy it and try some shit like that and obviously that shit didn't work and i waited 24 hours let it dry and literally as i was pulling the tape off it came off too <laughs> so it was a huge waste of time Huge waste of time. So, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna replace the lower radiator. My buddy that has the Ducati V4R has some extra parts laying around for his 1199. So, my next video, I'm going to be pulling that lower radiator off. I've never done it. So, um, I guess we can do it together. And I'm sure I'll be fucking something up in the process, but I might not. I guess we'll see. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.